Hey everyone, I'm Nito King, and last time on Flight of the Amazon Queen, what a twist! Flota have taken the Amazons prisoner, including Princess Azura, and we need to make it to Sloth Island and find the legendary crystal skull in order to set them free. Because I'm sure that Flota's going to set them free once they've got the crystal skull, right? We can trust those guys. Right? Anyway, when you're looking for Sloth Island, there's only one place I can think of. It's gonna have to be in the middle of a large body of water, which means we'll need a boat to get there. And I think I see one parked at the jetty for once. Indeed, it's a... boat. Day trips to Sloth Island, Sea Ferryman. I can see him, all right. Whoa, now that's what I call ugly. It looks about as seaworthy as my plane. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Who, me? Yes, you. That's my boat. Don't touch it. Sorry about that. I won't do it again. You better not. Well then, let's see what he wants to take us across to the island. What do you want, mortal? Now, I could introduce myself first, but that actually advances the plot, so I'll save that one for last. What's with a cloak? Do you do magic? Like pulling a bunny out of a hat? Like this? Neat! Can you do that bunny rabbit trick again? Oh, right. Just one more time. Could you get my plane out of the water? That's not really my department. What you really need is a short green guy who is strong in the force, but that's an old story. Hey, Mac, what's your name? My name is Sharon. Sharon? That's a girl's name. Not Sharon, you dullard. It's Sharon. That's C H A R O N. Sharon. Now you say it. Sharon. No, no, no. It's Sharon. That's spelt. C-H-A-R-O-N. Okay, now you say it. And of course, that repeats if you pick the wrong name again, so... Sherwin. You've got it all wrong. It's pronounced Sharon. That's spelled C H. A-R-O-N-C. It's simple. Now you say it. Charlene. No, you idiot. My name is Sharon. It's spelled C-H-A-R-O-N. Got that? Now you say it. Sharon. Very good. In our next lesson, we'll learn how to put words together to form sentences. Wise guy, eh? I still say it's a girl's name. And of course, this is the guy who spells boat with an E. You look pretty pale for a guy out in the sun. I use a strong sunblock. You can't be too safe in this heat. 
Absolutely. That's why I wear my baseball cap. I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. You are joking. What insolence. This is no time for levity. I didn't say I was joking. I said I was Joe King. As if I care. I'm preoccupied, so I'd appreciate it if you left. You sound upset, bud. What's the matter? It concerns you not, mortal. Now if you don't mind, I'm busy. So he says, but that's the way you advance the conversation. That's a really big rod you've got there. Yes, it's the biggest one I could find. But it hasn't helped me catch any fish, though. It's not the size that matters but the bait you use. Remember that line. Just remember it. Tell me about the one that got away. You don't mean that young Houdini lad, do you? Well, he did put up a bit of a struggle. Gave me quite the runaround. But I got him in the end. I always get my man. Got any big ones? I haven't caught anything. Now go away. You're scaring the fish. Are you fishing? No. I'm flying a kite. Of course I'm fishing. Look, the fish aren't biting, and I'm getting a little uptight. So would you please leave me alone? Take one guess what the problem is. Isn't this water full of piranhas? You know, I think you might be right. Just to be sure, why don't you go for a bit of a dip? If you feel any nibbles, just let me know, and I'll fish you out. Is this your favorite fishing spot? It used to be until you showed up. What sort of bait are you using? Bait? 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 What do you mean, bait? I think I know why you're not catching any fish. You need bait. How could I be so stupid? I've got the fishing rod, the fishing line, and the river full of fish. But I haven't got the bait. If I get you some bait, will you ferry me to Sloth Island? Mm. Very well. It's a deal, but I warn you, I better catch a fish, or I'll use you as bait. Well, fortunately I have something that I know attracts fish. That's not a flag. It's a tea towel from the pirate ride at Disneyland. I found you some bait. Try this. Excellent. I finally caught a fish. Just let me know when you want to go to Sloth Island. Are the fish still biting? I've had a few nibbles. We can go straight to Sloth Island, but let's chat. Do you do anything else besides fishing? I have another business, which requires a lot of people contact. I sort of arrange long-term holiday packages. It's very popular. That sounds neat. Could you arrange one for me? Oh, I will. In due time, I will. <laughs> what do you know about Sloth Island? Well, I know that it's not a very popular tourist spot. Apart from those loonies from Florida, you're the only customer I've had in ages. 
You know about Flota? Of course I do. I've been ferrying them across to the island all month. They keep sending people over to try and find some crystal skull. None of them have ever come back. How big is Sloth Island? It's not that big. It's actually the top of a submerged mountain. Apparently, the temple goes down deep below the surface. Do you take tour groups through the temple? Not since that impalement incident. I told everyone in the group not to touch any of the sharp, pointy objects. But did they listen? Of course not. Thanks for the information. That's okay. Will you take me to Sloth Island now? Oh, all right. You fulfilled your end of the deal. Okay, let's go. As he sits back down to fish. Thanks for the ride. That's okay, mortal. Be careful. <laughs> I will. I'm pretty sure that's Charon making the motorboat sound. What a nice guy. Best character in the game. I guess I better find that skull. Boy, that sure looks weird. And I can't get to the one on the other side, which is kind of broken. In we go! And right away, some interesting markings. Pitfall up on the wall there. It's empty. And holes in the positions that would hold the bones of a skeleton, I suppose. Also some kind of weird contraption over in the corner. It's empty. Not a whole lot to do there. Guess we gotta go through one of those doors and keep exploring. I don't know why he had to walk that far to get to the door. Oh, here's something. Dead bodies. Whoa, now that's what I call ugly. Have some respect for the dead. Or just destroy them. Yep, some of the bodies have bones that we need, and some of them have nothing. Ooh, look who made it to Sloth Island! Looks like a cross between a dinosaur and a rodent. Cute, though. I could talk all I want, but it ain't gonna talk back. Want some cheese, little guy? Rats love cheese. And we'll never see him again. Dum dee dum dee dum. Clearly nobody else has ever come this way and destroyed all these bodies. Because they're still there! I guess everybody else who needed bones just... brought them in with them? They're from Flota, why not? Now the interesting thing is that both arm bones are already in place, so I've just got this extraneous arm bone sitting in my inventory. It fits! So before I put the rib cage in there, let's go ahead and use this arm bone for the obvious. Now it looks more like something like a slot machine. Hmm, that didn't work. Guess you gotta put in some money. Fortunately, I've got some money. Oh, some more money. 
I'll just use one coin. Hmm, that didn't work. And indeed, it only works if you've completed the skeleton. It's just a really easy puzzle. But that's okay, because the remainder of the temple is my favorite part of the game. I'll just use one coin. Looks like I hit the jackpot. A secret passage. I better get the arm bone. It may come in handy. Oh, haha, it's a pun. Get it? It's an arm bone, so it'll be handy. There's a lot of falling in this part of the game. Ouch. What the? Before you may proceed, you must answer this riddle. What walks on four legs at dawn, two legs at noon, and three legs at dusk? What the heck are you? I am the Temple Guardian. I make sure that no one proceeds without answering my clever riddle. How come you float there like that? It's for effect, okay? Now I'm the one asking the questions, so what's the answer? Is it a two-legged cow with prosthetics? That would have to be the lamest answer I've heard yet. And I've heard quite a few. I'll let you have another try. Is it Bonzo the Dancing Clown? Close, but not quite. Have another go. The answer must be a man on a pogo stick. Almost. That's a pretty good guess. Go on, have another go. Would it be a pencil sharpener? A pencil sharpener? Pencil sharpeners don't even have legs. You can do better than that. This isn't fun anymore. Can I go now? No, you may not go. Not until you get it right. Now what is the answer to my riddle? I know. It's man in his three stages of life. Correct. Man crawls as a baby early in his life. He walks upright in the middle of his life, and he walks with a walking stick in his later years. Would you mind telling me what you are? I cannot answer your questions now, but if you survive the temple, then I will reveal all. So I got it right. Now what? Well, now I can let you proceed through the temple. Only those worthy of the riddle may do so. And you are worthy. I like that riddle. Thanks for the riddle. I'll see you later. Only if you are good enough. Wow! Oh, I'm good enough. But with three doors to choose from, I'm going to need a little time to think about it. Next time, the best part of the game begins.